Finally here tonight, was it a chance meeting or fate? Steve Hartman on how two lives were changed on the road. Nancy Abel admits her maternal instinct may be a little overactive. At least that was her excuse for nagging a young hiker she met along the Pacific Crest Trail in Washington State a couple weeks ago. That hiker's name was Katerina Gruna. And all Katerina did was mention to Nancy her plan to continue hiking alone up to the Canadian border. She was from Germany. She had no idea what she was getting into. So you tried to talk her out of well, it? I sure did. In fact, I told her if you were my daughter, I wouldn't let you do this. But here's the thing. Katerina had already walked the first 2,500 miles of the trail, which starts at the Mexican border. She had just 150 to go. So Katerina brushed aside nosy Nancy's carping concern. And that's the last I saw of her. But it wasn't the last of her worry. For the next seven nights, Nancy grew increasingly restless. She knew it was pretty late in the season to be walking that final stretch without snowshoes. And when she read the forecast for two feet of snow in the mountains, Nancy went full on mother hen. I was really stressed out. I felt really compelled that I, I really needed to get help for her. 911, what's the address of your emergency? I am not having an emergency. I'm calling about a hiker who's probably at risk. Now, as a general rule, the authorities here don't go looking for missing people who aren't missing. This hiker hadn't put out a distress call, hadn't even missed a checkpoint. And yet somehow, Nancy convinced them that her hunch was an educated one. So they went searching. The Snohomish County Sheriff's Department scoured the mountain where Nancy suggested. And that's when they spotted her, frostbit, with maybe a day to live. She was soaking wet and had no way to make a fire. Yeah. The rescue yeah. crew says Nancy yeah. saved Katerina's life. Definitely. Yeah. Without a doubt. Definitely. Without a doubt. I'll think of her as a hero for the rest of my life. Well, I'd say it's a miracle. Needless to say, Nancy is sleeping much better now. Okay, I get that. She invited Katerina to stay with her for a few days before her flight back to Germany. And as for Katerina, she says Nancy rescued her in more ways than one. Someone cared. She says the whole reason she did this hike alone was because she'd given up on people. I lost faith in humanity. You cut that faith back in a big way. Yeah, in a really big way. Come to America. <laughs> Need faith restored? Come to America. Okay. Or just find your dearest mom. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Snohomish County, Washington. Faith restored. That is the CBS Evening News Tonight. I'm Jeff Glor.